Hmm. So then it talks about 1971. Oh, there was a... Um, so 1971, <clears throat> there was a dance. And during the event, uh, a group of teens burst into the gymnasium where the dance was happening, frightened and crying, seemingly trying to get away from someone or something. Turns out they had snuck away from the dance to drink at a sand pit behind the school when all of a sudden this unearthly creature walked out from the tree line of the nearby forest. The kids described it as walking on two hind legs, naked, covered in white fur, and it had the face of a pig. All right. <clears throat> So that was when the initial initial pigman was born. Was nineteen seventy one. Um. Okay, so it spread around town, and locals confirmed seeing a similar creature around nearby farms around the time when several disappearances of local livestock uh, occurred. And then it talks about the dude. Okay. Man, this article has a lot of. <clears throat> but it doesn't talk about how tall Pigman is. Okay, so there's more. This talks about more encounters of Pigman. I don't want to read it because there's a lot. I mean, at least we know we have, like, you know, proof of yeah. that. Okay, so to date, the Northfield pig man has never been caught on camera or otherwise. There are also many tall tales and conflicting information about the story of this wretched creature. Some believe it's just a local story to scare young children from not going out at night or to not get into mischief during Halloween. The whole story could very well be a hoax, but if you do find yourself in the Devil's Wash Bowl, the dark woods of Northfield, Vermont, beware. Um, so it says possible explanations as a story, Halloween story to scare kids. It could be a feral or deranged man, or it could also be a Bigfoot type creature. Cool beans. Do we have any more? Mm -hmm. That one just talks about the same thing. I don't want to click on that. Oh. Would you look at that? Some say he is about five, six, uh, five foot six or five foot eight. So actually. This is a bit shorter than our typical eight foot cryptid. <sighs> um, covered from head to toe in grizzly white hair. Some say he has cloven hoofs. Some he says he some say he has talon like claws, so hmm. oh, just says like the same thing. Okay, so that's pretty much all of Pigman. Let's get into the pictures oh this is gonna be a two-parter for sure okay pig man pig man looking at pig man <sighs> why is squonk in here squonk you're too adorable to be part of this pig man i don't honestly find it very believable <sighs> yeah i just i literally just feel like it's a man with a pig mask on to be honest and there's not even that many pictures. No, just give me a f three. Give me a three. I was going to say three. I thought you were going to say four. I was about to say four, but I'm like, uh, no, I need to bump um, it down a notch. Story. <coughs> story was very interesting because it could honestly be a few different things. You know, it could honestly be a cryptid. It could be just someone dressed in a Halloween costume. Um, or it could just be, like it said, a tale for, a Halloween tale for kids. Um, so the story was very, very detailed. Um, 
I want to say five. I was going to say a six. Proof. I mean, there were a few encounters on there. But there's no actual proof. There's no... I mean, should we... I think we should include the encounters. But since there's, like, no photograph evidence or videos of it... Give me a four. Yeah, I was going to say, like, a 3.5. What we got? Do circus music. Um, it goes like bit bit <laughs> Come on! I'm trying to. Oh. Yeah. Do you need a calculator? Yeah. Oh. Ooh. All right. All right. So, I'm pretty sure, I hope I did my math correctly, uh, 24.5. 24.5, we are right, uh, towards the bottom, below Sinkhole Sam Where and above... Where it deserves to be. <laughs> below Sinkhole Sam and above Snally Gaster. Snally Gaster. Alrighty. Dang, yeah, this is gonna be a two-parter for sure. Gosh darn it, we talked way too much. Probably because just we hated it so much. Uh, <laughs> There's been so many other cryptids that we hated, though, so. <laughs> Anywho. SJ, you got anything you want to say? Ooh, yes, I do. Alrighty. So, <laughs> um, Caesar for Dead. Um, that, that, uh, number, what is it? Isn't it, like, three plus four, like? The seventh? Oh yeah, yeah, the seventh. Um, which is Caesar Day, which is in. It's like close to Halloween. Two months. Oh yeah. Um. This wow. Too what is it called? Right? What's it called again? Um. Yogis. Oh yeah, August. Um, Y'all. So the seventh of August is Caesar Serpent Day. Caesar Day. This year and every year following that, Forever put on your ever. calendars, celebrate it until the humankind <laughs> has been wiped from the face of the earth. Oh uh, yeah. Until we all become those robotic aliens. Beep boop. Beep boop beep, beep, beep. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed beep, this beep, week's beep, episode. Beep, we beep, shall beep, see beep, you all beep, next beep, time. Beep, beep, beep. Bye bye.